Hello and welcome back to the best game that ever had been programmed so far. XCOM 2, of course, War of the Chosen, and we're looking into the Legacy uh, mode. We need to free 13 uh, civilians. And I remember that the bar was always one of my favorite locations. If you could grapple up fast enough, that was just phenomenal. It was so good. Let's see if we can reenact some of that spirit. Bradford's moving in. I want to push aggressively. The general strategy is I'd like to rescue some civilians. So let's scout out if we're finding enemies, right? Okay. There is high cover here and here. These uh, cars are high cover. Some high cover here. This area here is tricky. That's only low cover. Look at all of this. I can already see that's only low cover. And there is an option for high ground. So you never want to fight against high ground if you are in low cover uh, from the beginning. Hey. At least not if you, uh, if you can prevent it. Again, second aggressive push forward. That's okay. That's okay. We still got three, um, three turns. How far would the grenade last? Oh, that's not bad. So again, moving into full cover. That's exactly what we wanted. Hitting the captain, but also the car. The car will explode, kill one of the civilians, but also the trooper behind it. The well, car starts to burn. It does not explode yet. Alright, time to kill the Advent Trooper. Uh, the Ad Advent Captain. Although we're standing in the open, it's still fine. We're going to Overwatch so that they have no motivation to move. Well, we hit him, but he's probably going to hit us back. We're standing in the open with a sniper. Or he's just going for a civilian. That's fine as well. Pretty stupid idea, by the way. And the car will explode now, so the other trooper is going to die. Missed his overward shot against the civilian. Or a lost, but I think there are no losses in here. And there we go. By now, we were starting to work pretty well together. And my little team had already racked up a respectable kill count by the time we moved in on the bar. That was the only explanation I could come up with, because it didn't take long for a whole lot of aliens to close on our position. I guess that'll be okay. Moving in. Demon here is still in cover, although it disappeared and then reappeared and then disappeared I guess it's invisible cover so that's the secured kill we don't need to worry about it but I would still want to save the ammunition if possible notice how I'm moving all the time I want to make sure that we actually can kill these guys and still progress Moving over, into full cover, and killing this guy. I am thinking about where to position the sniper. Great music, by the way. I absolutely adore the soundtrack. Maybe one of the best features. So we want to 
press on, right? Which means let's take aggressive moves here. And let's take an overwatch and another overwatch. We can't move into any cover, so I'm just going to overwatch. Maybe someone walks into us. There were still some independent businesses out there trying to survive the occupation back then. In a few areas, things almost seemed normal, but Advent wasn't having it. Constantly changing restrictions on unauthorized food sources made it almost impossible not to move to the new city centers. Interesting. So we have two purifiers and a mech. Very interesting pack. We're definitely standing in full cover for those guys. This here could uh, remove most of the cover. Don't want to blow the car up. Matter of fact, we do have blue screen rounds, so maybe. We're moving Sophia over here. We can kill the mech in one go. That's 10 to, 20, uh, to 12 hit points. Gone, bam! Full screen rounds. There you go. That's why they are so abnormally good. Don't want to leave your house without the blue screen rounds. That's what they teach you in XCOM school. So that could be a pure purifier kill right away. I think that's not a bad idea. I'm saving the grenade. Instead we're using the purifier, revealing all of that area because he explodes when he dies. And that might as well be the second kill. Tailing rounds. Oh hell yeah, 13. Why did we just um, uncover? of these nasty alien bastards yeah that's the reason why he did not die in the midst of the explosion well guess what buddy I'm not having it today if you say so moving into the next full cover the team is by the way slaughtering it overwatching The team is smashing it. Finding a drink wasn't easy, but the good stuff was still floating around out there in the territories. All highly illegal, of course. If you couldn't trade for it, you could always try your luck in the abandoned cities. A lot of people disappeared chasing vices of the old world back then. Civilian rescued. Sure, the civilian rescue works just like the normal civilian rescue would work, uh, which means at the end of uh, the combat, everything that's somewhat in your range will automatically be rescued. So we're having an overwatch here. I like to reload and give a protocol for the uh, for demon who's standing in half cover. That makes it full cover. Ready to rock. Reload. Mm. Oh, we had free reloads. Okay. Gosh, I'd like to have a high ground. But that's not possible with our sniper, at least not here. We already know there is a pack like here, which means if I want to have a free line of sight, we're putting ourselves behind that tree. Overwatch. Something explodes in the background. Okay, good enough. 
There we go, I think we're triggering. Nice. Shredded the shield bearer. That was important. Beautiful. Advent was still in the early stages of establishing itself as the new global front. But we ran into some of their first troops that day outside the bar. I was pretty confident we'd come out on top, but even I was impressed by how well we handled these guys. All right. I am impressed how well you're handling the grenade. This is indeed for you. Gone. That went almost down. Let's kill the stun lancers. No, we don't want to wait in the open. Hmm. I wish we could move a bit further. Do we want to destroy the t uh, the cover or are we just going for the target? Not fast enough to flank it. I think we can just destroy the cover. We have enough action units uh, left over. So Moving up into full cover. I said a crit. Good job. I'm reloading. I, I'm not even going to take the shot. It's not a hundred percent shot, so instead he's eating the frag grenade. There's no loot, so we can't lose lose out on anything. He's dealing with one we more have pack. The clue what these Advent goons were barking about back then. Not that it mattered. The more of them we took out, the more I started to see that with the right people, there was still a chance we could make a difference out here. What's over there? So moving closer. I guess we're overwatching. On reload, overwatch, and overwatch. I'd like to get a hint where the last um, enemy units might be at. By now, we had definitely gotten someone's attention. The aliens were down a couple of dozen kills, and we were taking our sweet time clearing out every last one of them. For people that came out here as scavengers, my new pals had almost forgotten about looking for gear. Right, we're taking both of the cars as cover. I'm somewhat sure that they might be in the kitchen. Somewhat. Not 100%. That's affirmative. Covering now. Overwatch confirmed. 
Well, that was a mistake, buddy. You shouldn't have uh, revealed yourself. Let's go, baby. Of course, minimum damage. Time to collect the civilians. We're only taking those. We can very certainly uh, take with us. We're continuing afterwards. I just want to make sure we kind of have enough civilians. So we secured every civilian that was standing next to the entrance. Uh, next of the entrance. That's okay. got ugly things already got ugly bro four more civilians Moving on target location We can move in next turn with her Let's I get him a bit okay. closer as well On Overwatch Ven y verás en guardia We're moving to the walls next They're turn Like I said they are probably in the kitchen So we're okay with the civilians, I like it. That's working out pretty well so far. and calm. Let's go. We're looking at one more civilian somewhere, so we would maybe get, uh, maybe over here, we maybe get 10 out of 13, which I think is a pretty respectable number. Heading to that location. Going to go for full Did cover here. So? Get 
caso. Explorando. I'm on it. Got it covered. Scanning. A ello voy. Atención, hay movimiento. It sounds like they are on top. <laughs> yeah, they are. Lesson learned, um, they can be on top. Actually not too good. Or not. Where exactly is this guy? Okay. Let's try to break the uh, the roof open. Ah, we got both of them. One died from the impact, the other one almost fell uh, to it, its death. So this is uh, probably the last one on the whole map. Hopefully we get the extra civilian. Oh wow, we could have gotten 1000 points more. Yeah, that was a bummer. Luckily we saved all of the civilians, so it was okay. That's by the way, the, the, uh, the mission music currently turns into the um, air battle music of U for one. That's when uh, U for one enemy unknown. You needed to fight with your F-16 fighters against uh, actual uh, actual UFOs, and you almost always lost until you got better aircraft. We were able to pull some usable armor vests and PCS components from the advent units near the bomb. We already got PCSs. So we can now take experimental uh, vests. Well, that sucks because tail and round, tracer round, AP round, and two screen rounds are really good, and I'm going to keep them. Um, but we could use uh, advanced combat sims, advanced agility, conditioning with advanced conditioning, perception with advanced perception, and speed with advanced speed. So yeah, why not? There we go. We got enhanced field plating, that's the medium armor now. Got our nice little extra items here. Field medic means we have more healing supplies. Redford just got run and gun. Death from above is supreme, that helps with the action economy and with actually putting her on top of a building. We got holo targeting, that's great. So Daryl will be the first one moving in. Heavy Ordnance, uh, so she is going to spec fully, fully into uh, removing cover, I like that. And look at this, beautiful. Soulfire Stasis, Insanity, <laughs> the game is giving us just such a treat. Psy Warrior, liking it. Yeah, I mean, we were at 35, so with one mission we already got the Bronx man. So I can see that there's hope to maybe get a silver or even a gold. Or even a gold. Past the bar on the outskirts of town was the freight yard. And according to the map, this was where the sanctuary was supposed to be. We found some old trail markers, symbols people called the hobo code back in the day. None of us actually knew what the signs meant, but we got the distinct impression we were being warned to steer clear. We had already come too far. 
And if the aliens had gotten to these people, we had to know for sure. Well... The freight yard hadn't been in operation since the war started. There seemed to be many enemy kills. commerce had all but ground to a halt by this point. I'm sure the old boxcars made for a tempting place to hide when the aliens rolled up on the town. Unfortunately, if anyone had survived, there was no sign of them when we showed up. I can't say we weren't disappointed. There was no sanctuary here. And if there ever was, the aliens had done their worst. Good luck, Commander. Oh, hell yeah, we have a lot of hit points. And we're going to see that in the next mission. I'm hooked. I don't know how about you, but I uh, like the legacy missions. That's so good. The train yard was also one of these missions. I'm, I'm going to tell that uh, when we're actually playing the mission. So thank you so much for watching and see you on the next mission. It's been a pleasure.